Top 5 Most Outrageous Bets Ever Made Hello, and welcome to another of my videos. If you love gambling then you will find this video interesting. Gambling has been around in human society for thousands of years. Some people have taken betting to a whole new level as they do crazy things. Here are the top 5 most outrageous bets ever made. Number 5 Losing to Win One of the well-known gamblers is Ted Forrest, he has even won a World Series of Poker Bracelet. He took betting to another level when he made a bet with another famous poker player called Mike the Mouth Matuso. Matuso challenged Ted Forrest that he could not get below 140 pounds, from his weight of 188 pounds. Matuso made a bet of $2 million. Ted Forrest eventually did get below 140 pounds, reportedly as low as 138. If you ask me, he won his crazy bet with Matuso, which seemed like a double win. Professional gamblers tend to make more outrageous bets than most, even when it comes to weight loss. Number 4 Double or Nothing Ashley Revel is yet another English professional gambler. In 2004, Revel sold all of his possessions, even his clothes, and all his assets combined total of $135,000. Revel then took all his money to Las Vegas. He placed all of his money on red for a single roulette spin. The spin was very lucky for him. The ball landed on 7 red, effectively doubling his money. Revel's gamble was featured in a reality miniseries filmed by Sky One. The series was appropriately named Double or Nothing. Revel was also featured on many other shows and series, including THS, Investigates Vegas Winners and Losers. Revel truly doubled down when it came to outrageous bets. Number 3 All Clothes Are Off Another on our list is a French weather reporter, actor, and model named Doria Tillier. In 2013, Doria Tillier made an outrageous bet against the French national soccer team. Even though the French national team was among the best in the world she felt they were not good enough. She made a bet that France would not qualify for the 2014 World Cup. This was a result of the 2-0 loss in the first leg tied to Ukraine. The bet was that she would do her weather report naked if France made a comeback and qualified. Le Bleu came back against Ukraine, winning 3-0 and qualifying, and Doria Tillier kept true to her word. Number 2 The Gambling Granny In 2009, at the Borgata Hotel Casino in Atlantic City, Patricia de Moro played slots, while her friend John Capper played poker. After several losses, they both took a break, and Capper taught de Moro how to play craps. Patricia de Moro bet 154 times in a row against 7 and 1. This was over 4 hours of rolling. De Moro literally set a record that has never been broken. Patricia de Moro reportedly only started with $100 and made out with lots of cash. This was an impossible moment ever recorded as the chances of her winning 154 times were very low. De Moro will forever be remembered as the gambling granny who set an unbreakable world record in craps. Number 1 Betting Big on FedEx Just barely three years after the company was started, Frederick Smith, the founder and CEO of FedEx was in a desperate situation. The company was in serious trouble, as they were losing $1 million monthly. They were also facing a fuel bill of more than $20,000. Frederick Smith tried everything possible to keep the company running by collecting more loans. Eventually, he decided to try his hand with Lady Luck. Smith took all of the remaining money from the company's accounts, equaling about $5,000. He then went to Las Vegas and gambled the money on blackjack. Smith must have hit some lucky cards because he left the casino with more than $30,000. The money was used to keep the business afloat, and we know how successful FedEx has grown to be. FedEx is the largest freight company in the world. We hope you enjoyed this video. Do let us know which of the top 5 you feel is insane in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Love you all.